Hi everybody, it's Julie here and I'm back with a new process video. Today it's Wednesday and I'm going to share with you uh, some cards that I made. Here is how they look and they are actually quite simple to do. I'm going to start with using some white cardstock and I'm going to cut them down to just a little bit smaller than 4 by 6 I have a set of pre-made card bases out of craft paper from uh, Dovecraft. Uh, they sell them at our local supermarket. It's really handy. Uh, so I'm going to cut them down just a little bit. I'm going to use my stamp set from Alton New in Vintage Roses and I'm going to use some dye ink also from Dovecraft. Uh, I have got some new dye inks but this was filmed before. So I'm going to go stamp one in the middle and then it cuts off. But what I do is I stamp three flowers together and then I just going to go one shade darker with the ink and stamp the other flower in the succession so to speak. And all I do is I mask it off using some post-it uh, tape and I, I use two smaller flowers. Now like I said I had some trouble with my camera so that didn't film but I hope with me explaining you will get the idea of it. So my plan with this, these cards is to make sort of a bouquet with the pink flowers and then white leaves and I'm going to show you what I mean with that later. Now the dye ink, this is not really high quality or anything so uh, it is a bit splotchy, it's not perfect but in the end you will not really see it. So here I'm going to stamp the first flower off on that um, post it, post it <laughs> paper, cut it out and then mask it off while I stamp the other flowers. And I'm going to take two smaller flowers set on that and I'm going to use just two layers. So two pink colors, even if you don't, oh the camera fell. <laughs> so here you can see how I position the flowers. And like I said, I only use two layers of each, but you can use more. So to get white leaves, I tried a new technique. So I'm going to go in with the first stamp I used, uh, stamp it in reverse mark, and then emboss it in clear. So here you can see how I do that. So just the biggest, so that will cover the entire flower. And then I'm going to stamp that really pretty leaf uh, stamp on top of it in reverse mark too. And Later I will add some watercolour on this and that will act as the resist. It will also protect the flowers but it will also make the leaves that I stamp right now will be white. Uh, the clear embossing powder will protect that. So having that on, this is a Ranger clear embossing powder and it works really great. It's pretty fine and um, you can get pretty detailed with it. So here you can see me embossing and the magic happens. I mean, it's. I mean, I have been embossing for years, but I still think it's like magic when they melt. <laughs> I know I'm like a kid, but yeah. So really easy to do this, and then yeah, just going to flatten it up, and it will flatten up when it cools down. Uh, I added some watercolor, like this didn't end up on the footage either. Oh my gosh, but I just swooshed it around a bit, use a pretty teal blue colour. Going to and you can see the white leaves on the on the flower cards here. Add some gold tie shine because we need that because you just do. <laughs> I think it would look really pretty with a different tea, but just that sort of uh, splatter on the watercolour, I really like that. So I'm going to add my sentiment and I'm going to use the uh, Britano stamp set from Paper Project. And it's a Dutch company and I really like it. Um, it's just really fun. And as a Swede, I really like that you get um, uh, E and Ö, which is, um, we have three uh, Swedish letters with punctuation on top. And uh, the O isn't with it, but you get like a little dot so you can do that. So anyway, <laughs> it's just really fun when you get those stamps like ready made and I have used this a lot and I really like this stamp set it's really really nice uh, and I got it really quickly good post-it on that so I'm going to stamp a uh, happy birthday in Swedish which is which is uh, gratis but because it has two T's in it I'm going to stamp the first part of the word and then I'm going to wash it and then uh, stamp the other part of the word 
so just cleaning that off I have my own mix of uh, cleaning spray at my desk uh, I don't know if it's good or not but it works so I mean I don't know if it's good for the stamp but I think it is hopefully I don't know I'm using just um, this Onyx Black ink, which I think is really great. And the last part I'm going to do is going to mount my stamps, uh, my card fronts on the card bases. Now I use some washi tape on the side in different, so gold and black stripe and that kind of stuff, just to give it a bit more shine. Um, and as a finishing touch, and here you can see how they look in different uh, washi tapes I used. Uh, I'm going to stitch them on because I like doing that. And uh, just white thread and all around. Uh, because this paper has been through a lot, I mean, I have stamped, I have embossed, I have watercolored, I've splattered it. It's a bit buckled. I mean, you can understand that. And the stitching adds a bit of more element, but it's also really cute. And I really like it. So I hope you have liked this video, even though a lot of the footage is footage was lost. I hope it gave you an idea of what you can do with your stamps. I really like this and I think it would be really cute to make uh, use this technique on a layout, for example. I hope you have liked this video and that you will come back to see more. Have a really great day. Bye!